Hey everybody, April here. Welcome back for another video. So as many of you may know, my uncle and I renovated my very first house a few years ago. And now, it's time to decorate. But first, let's take it back. Hey you guys, so I'm back at the house. Um, Tony is here doing some electrical work. And I have somebody here that's giving me an estimate on window replacement because I have to replace all of my windows. Are all the windows still again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'm suspecting here is what I was I'm telling her is they probably went in dock window mm -hmm. and then just to put this around there to, to um, cover the gap. Cover it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So, hey, yeah. So, um, I told y'all Tony is here doing some electrical work for me. Um, right now he is making sure the switch works with the ceiling light. So, <laughs> you look so confused. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can tell it better. Okay. <laughs> All right. At first, when she walked in the room, when she cut on the switch, it would operate this outlet right here. Oh, right. But when I'm finished, this is going to stay on the whole time. And I'm going to run out. I ran a wire right there to that box. And I'm going to have the, the light working off the switch. It wasn't like that at first. Right. The, the switch was operating that and not the light on the ceiling. Right, so that's what he's doing now. And it's like that in all of the rooms. So, that's what we're working on today, pretty much. And her dad will come back and continue um, to patch up the walls and paint and all that stuff. Yeah. So, I'm gonna do that before. Yeah, yeah, like I this. Oh, no. she's recording. Oh, snap. Oh, I just start. Okay. Y'all know I wouldn't put nothing crazy <laughs> like that up there anyway. Mm. All right, Tony's about to do something else. What you about to do, Tony? Oh, okay. Yeah, same thing I did in the room. I got to run a wire from here to that light. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm just taking out the box first. And this is what I do with these boxes. Okay. Because uh, I don't like to fish. It's a little hole on top of this box. You got to try to fish this into. Which sucks. Uh huh. So I don't do that. I ain't got time for that. This is all I do. Uh huh. And uh, when I'm finished, that way when I when I you know I can stick my whole hand in there and grab this stick right here with the wire to it, and I put this box back in there. Oh okay. And put it around. I ain't got time for all that. Fishing in. That takes too long. Break up this box. It's an old baker's box, so they don't use these anymore. So you not so you taking that box out and replacing it with the blue one? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Plus these boxes, like a lot of times you change the switch. It's so brittle. So we can you can strip you the can hole break, out just, yeah. just taking taking the screw off. Gotcha. But I love to take them out though. <laughs> 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 These lights are old fashioned because you gotta take the whole paddle down, just take all the paddles down just to take down the light. Oh, I was wondering why you had took each one off individually. Recommend putting a drill in, using the drill like to put this back in. I know you ain't using this no more. Yeah. Or any type because you can mess up the drill, you can strip off the post. Or, I mean, I would. Yeah. Just because I don't do it. I lowered the power set short for it, but other than that, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, it's, it's always had up here. That's why I don't like it. Yeah. I hate getting up in the attic. Yeah. So if it's under the unit, don't even worry about it. I mean, that's just. Well, yeah, if it's under the unit, then you just have to get a, a, a one of those 
Oh, no, you can't. No, hold on, let me see what I can do first. I might, if it's close enough, I'll probably be able to cut a hole in the walkie because he's patching and mud it up anyway, right? Yeah. Chelsea, huh? can you go uh, go to that uh that the what the uh switch with the wires hanging out, knock on the wall when she's mm -hmm. something. Keep knocking till I say stop. It sound like it's over here. It sound like it's on the other side, behind you, no? Really? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, keep going, Chels. I guess Tony's trying to find like where wall bump right here. You can stop, Chelsea. I know your hand hurt. <laughs> Oh, so are you trying to find where to put the wire down? Yeah, because the wire comes up in the attic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got to find that. Gotcha. So we found the hole. So now Tony's put in. Huh? Put there it you where? Go. You got it. I see you feel, touching it. Yeah, pull it out. He said pull she it out. It. Oh, okay. Good. There you go. Pull it all the way up. Yes, she got it. Oh, okay. All right. That, yeah. Uh, you got it all the way up. You got it out. Yeah. Hold up. I'm good from there. Don't pull no more. Don't pull no more, Chelsea. So Tony found the hole. I had to use my tape measure. Yeah, he used the he measured it to figure out where the hole was at, and then also Chelsea uh, stuck a flashlight up the hole from the bedroom, so he was able to see the light that way and find the hole that way. So now we can continue. Got it. Yeah, you said do what? No, I'm it down. Oh, okay. I'll be done in 15, 20 minutes. Now. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, there you can. Mm -hmm. That's the same way when uh, it's time to run cable in these rooms. Same way. I measure the fact that. Like cable? Like cable? Yeah. Cable? Oh, okay. Yep, once you get your spot located. Yeah. I get up so in the attic. Wires all over the place. Oh, okay. Throw the hole in the top of the stud. Uh huh. Fish my wire down. I'm already going to have the hole cut out for the uh, cable. Oh, uh, okay. Same way she grabbed that bike. It's easy. Cool. But well, easy to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you seen that? Yeah. Yeah, I banged my knee. I'm trying to shake out the pain. <laughs> oh, I'm so weak. about to die gotta get some more primer um because chelsea's dad started painting already and he's already running out so i had to pick some up for him and this is the kind that he uses or that he's using by glidden the gripper primer and it's 21 22 dollars a gallon and right now it's looking like he's using 
two gallons per room because he has to prime the walls and then also prime the ceilings. All right, y'all. Back at the house. Got my primer. Come in here and see. Ugh. Oh, he started in that room too. Okay, so he finished priming this room. He's using my um, umbrella lights for lighting. And he started in here also. So yeah, he's coming along. I think he's on his way. He said he was coming after work. He should be off now. So he's gonna finish up these rooms here and begin painting. I'm excited. It's coming along, coming along. I had to make a really quick stop to Home Depot. Um, I need to pick up some more primer and um, I uploaded a new vlog yesterday and in the comments, um, one of you guys was like, wouldn't it be cheaper if you just buy the big tub of primer versus buying um, gallons at a time for $22? And I was like, girl, you were so right. So, Ken is, that's all right. Ken, tells his dad, oh, is at my house right now. And he's priming the third bedroom. Am I zoomed in? Like, why is it? Hi. Uh, I need to get my life and my buddy back there. So, he's at my house now. Um, priming and um, I have the carpet people coming um, soon so I'm trying to hurry up and get um, the primer so the big tub I think is $99 versus getting the gallon for $22 so I'm gonna see obviously that's cheaper um, than buying it by the gallon I hope that's what I saw let's see Yep, look at that. Look at all that primer. You get 4.92 gallons all for 99. So that's like almost $20 a gallon. So I'm saving like $2. I think I'll just go ahead and, oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. I don't think I'll be able to carry that. So yeah, um, let me hurry because um, He's about to run out of primer, literally, like as I'm speaking. So I need to hurry up and get back to the house with this. Yes. Can you please put this in here? Thank you. All right. Don't you just love nice people? Because this thing is heavy. I don't know how I'm going to get into my car. But yeah. Um, I think that's all I need. Okay. Like here. You can feel it. It's really pretty. Okay. This is, yeah, it has an, a, has an awful warranty. Watch this. Well, you well, get pretty colors too, by the way. You see, you get all those colors. Mm, those are pretty. I like this color. Oh yeah, that is called gunstock. Yep. Yeah, I definitely want dark yeah, color. I'm not stock. a fan yep. of light. That's a uh, half inch uh, engineered hardwood. It comes with a 30, uh, 25 year finish on this. Uh, the board is a little wider than a normal. It's a four inch board. It locks together and the whole four floats. No okay. glue. You said it's gonna look so good. It already looks good. So this is Ken painting my ceiling. The carpet guy is out getting some more samples. The walls don't have primer on it yet, just the corners, right? Yeah. So this is, I picked this up from Home Depot. Okay. This is, oh, yeah, it's, it's actually not hardwood, it's laminate. Yeah, it's laminate. But I, like, I really though. like the color, well, so I want to see if it matches. Let's see if it matches. Now, this is high gloss. This is semi-gloss. There's a difference. Okay. High gloss, you'll be spending two thirds of your life cleaning it. Okay. <laughs> it, because footprint, see already footprints, see the fingerprints and footprints on yeah, there already? Yeah. All day long, up and down the hallway, that's all you'll be doing. You'll be getting your dust mop out with a spray bottle, cleaning it. Okay. Semi gloss, no. But look at the color. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's almost identical. <laughs> yeah. 
How about that? Good. You like that? Yeah, I do like it. All right, let's see if I can get. Go ahead and step on that. Yep, that is exactly what it will feel like while it's down. It's all good, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm just kind of wish around the button. I'll get the other one. Now, now neither one are bad, but there's a difference. There is a difference, but this is this doesn't feel bad actually. Oh no, no, seventy cents. You're probably going to save about five hundred dollars buying this one over this one. Yeah. That's not ugly. It's pretty. It's a nice carpet. Buy this. We got it. Okay. It even makes the room look bigger. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure do. <laughs> painting my doors over. Ken is in the bathroom changing his clothes into his painting clothes. And he's gonna come out here and show me how to paint these doors to make them look like professionally done versus me going out and purchasing all brand new doors because these doors are actually in pretty good shape. As you can see, like there's no dings or dents or anything. All of this here is just Oh, like dirt and stuff and it just needs to be cleaned up and painted I'm taking off the hinges and all of this old hardware and I'm replacing all of that so yeah we're about to get started you adjust it here because the harder the harder you adjust I mean the harder you make it mistake I'll be using these because you, you know like when you have a sponge and you bring the water out and then you squeeze it really hard and still got all the water in it it's the mm -hmm. same with this if you're if you're painting and you got paint on here the harder you push the more paint you're squeezing back out and you, that's when you get um overlaps and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. you ever used one of these i have um, so you, um... you ever had that problem yeah yeah that's why yeah, this is what you want to use and this will look like it's been sprayed Okay. Mm -hmm. Look like it's been sprayed. What kind of brush is that? Or roller? Four inch. Like, I mean, this is a foam. Yeah, this is this one is this is just a. Uh, it's a polyester, probably. Okay. It's not like horsehair or nothing like that. But. Sandpaper. Lightly dusted. Okay. Feel, feel that. Feel those little bumps. Yeah. You're so neat with paint. I'm so messy <laughs> when I'm painting my furniture and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just as you 
say that, right? <laughs> okay, so get your, you wanna go like this. So paint that inside. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to get paint on it. The reason you wanna do this with a brush like this is because you don't want it caking up in the corner stand here. Yeah. And you want to do it flat too because if you get too much paint, it runs down. Okay. That's why I always do doors laying down like this. Gotcha. I guess I didn't think about that. When I did the front door, I had a lot of paint running and I didn't think I was using too much paint, but it's just since it wasn't grabbing, laying down, right. yeah. You know, a lot of times people, um, worry about seeing the lines in it. A good paint like this, it uh, it levels out. It's just like almost like self-leveling. So here's what you got. Get enough paint on there. Then hit the cross. See, it's a cross, so run it the way the cross is. See the wood grain? Yeah. How the wood grain changes it. Yeah. You get grain going this way, and then when you get to here, this is another piece, and the grain goes that way. Right. Just follow that grain. Right. And this paint covers really good. I see. You think I'll be good with one coat, or? No. It, it, let's see. I mean, it, it'll depend on how you want it to look. I mean, it might because when it starts drying, you'll be able to tell better. I can't wait to put the doors on <laughs> with the new hinges and the doorknob. Mm -hmm. That's gonna make a huge difference. just finished putting one coat on another door um, and I put two coats on this door so it's gonna go ahead and let these dry and then I have to do those two I'll probably do those tomorrow oh and I have to put a second coat on this one once this fully dries um, so I'm doing green in this second guest room and Ken actually started painting it oh this light is so bad because we're using the umbrella lights in here because we took all of the ceiling lights out but I really do not like this green this is not the color that I was going for of course the true color is not coming off uh, or not coming up on camera um, but it's too it's too it's giving me like foresty woods type of feel and that's not the green that I was going for um, so yeah I think I'm gonna go oh my battery's about to die I think I'm gonna go to Sherwin Williams tomorrow and pick out a new color because I really I really don't like that color and I tried to you know think about if I could make that color work as far as the decor and stuff that I want in this bedroom and I just think it's way too dark I don't it sucks because I wasted like 30 something dollars when I should have just got samples sample colors 
and put it on the wall and see which ones that I like versus just picking a color and um, buying a gallon of paint and I, now I don't like it. So I was about to show you guys my master bedroom because he actually painted it but the color, it, I'll have to wait till the daytime when it's natural lighting in there to show you guys. Um, so yeah. Um, other than that, um, the ceiling's done. Brand new ceilings. It used to look like that. We had to get the popcorn down. And now it's brand new. Just gotta put the little vents, get some new vent thingies and put those up. So yeah. I'm gonna head out now because I'm tired and I'm hungry. And um, yesterday I had um, a company come out and give me an estimate on carpet. And I think I'm gonna go with them and have them install the carpets in the bedroom for me. And I ordered some windows last week and my windows come in tomorrow and I have somebody installing those for me. All of my windows in the house are getting replaced except for these two i'm leaving these two here because um later like early next year hopefully um maybe a little later than that we're going to put french doors here so these windows are not going to be replaced because yeah so yeah i'm kind of disappointed in the color but i know now i know now next time just get samples test out the colors first so you won't waste any money hey y'all so i'm back at sherwin williams trying to pick a different green this is the color that i currently have um but i think i need to go lighter so i'm looking at this one and this one I'll probably get samples of these and do a swatch on the wall just to see how it looks. But yeah, there's so many colors to choose from. It's hard picking the exact shade that you're looking for. <sighs> this is tough. Just picking paint colors. Something as little as picking paint colors is a huge, tough decision. All right, y'all, so I'm back at the house and I just wanted to show y'all um, my master so far. So I got a new ceiling fan and the uh, ceiling is completely done now and my walls are painted with the first coat. We still have to go over it um, with the second coat. So <laughs> I'm laughing because of course you can't get the true color and it's blurry. All right, that's better. So this is what it looks like. It's a taupe color. Maybe I should turn on the light in here. My light works. Um, but it's more of like a purplish, pinkish, tan, all mixed in one to get this color. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, but this is it. And of course, you're not gonna get the true color, like I said, on camera but my ceiling is done like I told y'all before I used to have popcorn we scraped that off and now I have a flat ceiling I got a new fan and it comes with um, this little remote thing here let's see I can turn on my fan that way what is that medium high Yep, and I can just turn the fan off completely with this remote. I like that. And then Tony went and changed all of my outlets to white. They used to be like a like a dusty yellow color. Um, and I'm getting new windows put in. My windows come, they were supposed to come last Friday, but um, it was a delay because of the hurricane. They had like a lot of orders, so 
Mine was delayed by a week, so they should come in this Thursday or Friday. Then I have all of my windows replaced, except for two, and I think I showed you guys um, which two I'm not replacing. Um, I have my carpet people come in, and then I'm getting carpet in all of the bedrooms. So once I get the new windows and my new carpet, um, this room, this room will be done. He still has to paint the uh, border or the bottom and he has to fill this still also but that's not going to take too long and then after he does one more coat on here then I'm going to put the covers on the outlets and switches and stuff like that and then we'll be done in here I still got to work on the bathroom though that's going to take some time in my closet, I'm leaving that as is for now. Just gonna get the new carpet in here. So yeah, that's the master. So for this room, oh, I think I didn't show you guys this room, the color in daylight. So this is the color. Um, it's a little too dark for me for this room. Maybe if the room was a little bit bigger, I would like it, but I want a much lighter color. So I went to Sherwin Williams, picked out some more colors, and I got some samples. So I'm about to swatch these colors and see which one I like best. colors next to the first color that I chose and it looks so dark compared to these but I think we have a winner I think I'm gonna go with the first one it'll definitely brighten it up in here compared to going with this dark green 